everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be trying a treats box and these treats are from Italy. Ciao from treats. A beautiful country known for its cuisine, fashion, sports cars and for being home to some of the greatest artists and designers in the world. Ooh. This is a list of things that you get inside the box. Lots of things to try so let's get started. Snack wafers and these ones are made by Boloco. Oh, oh, goodness. So you get eight wafers inside. They look delicious. Oh, wow, wow. These ones are so rich and chocolatey. That chocolate filling it is pretty amazing. The wafer biscuits are vanilla flavored. Really tasty, love this. Wafers are always so messy to eat. You bite into them and then you sort of go, poof. I don't think poof is a word or a sound effect, really. <laughs> Look at this massive great tin of stuff. And it's called Mini Cal Farat. Mini Cantu. Can't, can't say it. Mini Cantu Chini. It looks like they're little biscottis. And I love biscotti. What does it say? A fruity rossi with red berries and oaks fruits rogues. Let's just peel off this foil stuff. Oh, come on. It just pulls off, doesn't it? Oh, ah, pretty. Ow, ow, I just put a muscle in my leg. I am seriously the only person that can hurt myself just by sitting down. <laughs> I'm always making the simplest things in life look really awkward. I beat myself. Mmm. Wow. They're a lot sweeter than a lot of the other biscottis I've ever had. I think it's because of the berries inside them. They're actually quite sweet, quite tasty. They would go beautifully with a cup of coffee. Mm. For a store-bought biscotti, they're actually quite tasty. And for those of you who haven't had biscotti before, a biscotti is like a really dried biscuit, so it's really crunchy when you bite into it. Really nice. Ferrero Rocher. Most people, I think, would have had a Ferrero Rocher. They're beautiful little chocolates, they're golden wrapping, and then they come in a little patty cake thing too. So it really makes it look classy, unique, and special. Hence why a lot of people give these out as gifts. Oh, I don't want to let go. You're going to. Okay, so you just pull on that and it unwraps. And really, isn't that just a little piece of magic? Mmm. <laughs> These just take you to chocolate wonderland. So they've got hazelnuts in the middle of it. It's also got a hazelnut filling on the outside. A beautiful creamy chocolate. Also chopped up hazelnuts in that. And it's also got wafer biscuit in it as well. It's got so much going on in this. It's amazing. You can understand why this is a lot of people's favorite. Kinder Bruno. And this chocolate here, candy bar, is one of the chocolates that I have received the most out of all of the chocolate bars. So that lets you know just how popular this one is. I won't actually try it because I've tried it so many times before. It's got chocolate on it, hazelnuts in it. It's beautiful. And once again, a lot of countries have tried to claim this as their own. And who could blame them? Homie up. Oh, I thought they said homies. Homies? What, what? Homies in the house. Homies in the house. Sorry, that was really bad. <laughs> it might take some of you a while to recover from what you just saw and heard. <laughs> Milk and honey honies. Oh, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Mmm. 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 Ooh. Okay, I just got into the center bit and you can really taste that honey flavor in the middle there. They're a little bit like a Werther's in a way. They've got like a caramel on the outside and the middle's got that really interesting, lovely flavor of the milk and the honey. Really delicious. I just bit this one in half. You can't really see the center of it very much. It's not like a flowing center. It's more like a chewy center in the middle of it. Very sweet and tasty, love them. These ones are Zotz candy and I've got a cherry flavored one and a watermelon, blah, 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 blah. Watermelon flavored one. Let's try the cherry one first. Okay, and of course it's cherry colored. Ooh. It's 
a really strong cherry flavour, it's nice. So it's a hard boiled candy. Something happening! <laughs> oh, oh! There's something in the middle. Oh, oh, oh! stuff in the middle of it if you love sour candy you would love this I really love the outside part of it just that inside bits pretty intense I'm gonna try the watermelon flavored one okay so that's a beautiful pink color hmm it's nice for now and once again, the watermelon flavor is quite intense in it. Mmm, I love that watermelon flavor. That's yummy. What's happening? <laughs> oh, it's all right. Oh. Once again, it's got that really super sour powder inside it. I love the candy part itself of these. The cherry flavor and the watermelon were really delicious. Just that middle bit. If you're not really into sour stuff, it's a little bit of a shock. But if you love your sour stuff, then you would think these are amazing. Next up, I have a massive great big packet of these. And I have seen and had these before, but I've usually only had these like in a dessert, which I've made desserts with them before. I always call them ladyfingers. What they're actually called is... Oh, it says ladyfingers on it. <laughs> this is... Oh, oh, there's too many B's and Z's suddenly. Italian's number one ladyfinger. Dugets di demi number one in Italy. I think that most people probably would have heard of these before and had them before, but let's have a look at them. All right, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. So you get two packs of these inside. They are super light. And look at that. It's like a beautiful little sugary light biscuit. See, lady fingers, because you could just put another digit there and you just think that was part of your hand. Not really. They've got sugar on the top here. They're quite dry and crispy and really sweet. I usually use these for desserts. Like I like to soak liqueur and coffee and stuff and put cream and... What's the name of that dessert again? One of those anyway. These are a classic. These ones are called Milli Borghi... Far out it just keeps going, doesn't it? Milli Borghi d'Italia. Classic. Oh. So it's a plastic container with like a little lid thing. Oh. You get heaps of them in the packet here. They like little pastries. Oh. Wow. It's a very simple pastry. It's got like a glaze, a sugary glaze on the top there. What I like about this is it's got a little bit of a, a buttery finish to it. Really tasty, really delicious, super crispy, really flaky, get it all over the floor. Next up I have, oops, had, these ones are called Agrami. They're citrus flavoured hard candies. I really like the cellophane packaging on these and I like that it's got the little sliced piece of fruit on there as well, like the lemon, the lime and the orange. That's really pretty. So I'm going to try the lemon one. Mmm. So it's a simple little hard boiled sweet. It's got a lovely refreshing taste of lemon all the way through it. It's really nice. Bashi, and I'm not sure if that's how you actually say it. Let me know if I've gotten it right in the comments. These I have had before a long time ago. Now this one comes in a beautiful little box and there is something beautiful and romantic looking about this one. I don't know why I think it's romantic, but I just do. I think it's the coloring of the blue on the box. It's got a little indentation there so you can push to open it. No, you can't. <laughs> allergic to romance. You get two of these little chocolates inside. It's got a beautiful silver alpha with little tiny baby stars. I love that. 
Okay. Oh, it's beautiful dark chocolate. Doesn't that look interesting? I have not had one of these for so long. Oh, I've never noticed this before. It's got a little piece of grease proof paper in here with a little message written on it. I think it's in Italian, so I can't read it. Oh no, it's not. I just can't read English today. Get your romance pants on everyone. I'm about to read something lovely. Beautiful shining eyes, gay, sad, proud, humble, severe. So it's like a poem. So you give these to loved ones. Or you just sit there by yourself eating them going, wow, romance sucks. Mmm. Oh, that's so rich. It's beautiful. It's a super rich, dark, smooth chocolate on the outside of it. And on the inside, it's like a chocolatey filling with bits of hazelnut in it. And I'm thinking that that, yes, is a massive, great, big hazelnut. Really delicious, but what I love about this, it's not just about the taste of it, it's like an experience. There's something really beautiful and romantic about this chocolate. Look at this beautiful little one. It's like a little tiny ice cream cone. This one's called Kono Snack. Oh, that is so cute. As you can see, it's got like an ice cream cone, chocolate on it, and it's got like little tiny M&M like things, Smarties on the top of it. Oh, yum! That is such a cute little idea for a chocolate. It's really quite rich, very sweet, and it's a plain chocolate. I really like the combination of that with the cone. Really tasty. Choco Burger. Oh, here I am. Ooh, a bit like a flying saucer. Wow. Whoa. Wow, that's so good. So it's got like a hazelnut cream sort of filling in it. Really rich, really tasty. That chocolate is super smooth. I've never heard of this one before and I've never had it before, but I love it. Mmm. Oh, I have had so much chocolate. <laughs> this one is really sweet and rich, but amazing. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed me doing this Italian taste test and I'd just like to say thanks to the people at Treats for sending me this box along. I'll leave a link below to their website if you want to go and check them out. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and share it with friends if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.